Hey everyone, it's Matt with Jinx Brothers, and we've got ourselves a state penny box, finally. We've been dry for a couple of weeks. This is box 23. So, thank you, the Rat Stacker. It's greatly appreciated, and this box is from Hawaii. We are not going to have the mail call this until tomorrow, so you're seeing this a day early. During the mail call, you'll notice that this roll right here was flat empty. It was in the bottom of the box. He did ship these in a non-penny box because these were cobbled together from customer rep rolls. He was not able to get a whole box and I'm okay with that. I simply said my goal is to hunt a box of pennies from each state. Doesn't matter what kind they are, where they come from, how they get here. I just wanted to make sure that I had 50 rolls. So he cobbled together me a quote-unquote box and sent it. Unfortunately, one of the rolls blew open, and so I re-rolled it. The cool thing was, is I saw those pennies already. We've got our first wheat, and I haven't even opened a roll yet. Ha <laughs> ha! There is actually a wheat, two Canadians, and an 09. So these could be some really nice customer rep rolls. I look forward to getting into this Hawaii box. We have 199 spots filled. We still have 83 to fill. If you've not seen the other 22 states that I've already hunted, go back. I will throw the playlist up now so you can go back and get yourself caught up. So hopefully, our goal right now, we were hunting for at least 10 wheats per box. My goal right now is just to find some fillers. It's getting tough. I'll even take an upgrade. Because upgrades are even getting tough as well. So, enough chitty chat. Let's get into this box and see what we can find. Like I said, I'll be in back very shortly. Because I know roll one already has some finds. So, I'll see you in a few. Like I said, roll one, early finds. Well, I loaded this one because <laughs> I wanted to find out all the finds here. So I had seen these. Our first one is going to be a 1951D. Our first wheat, roll one. We did have a Canadian, 1987. We had a second Canadian, which was a 2007. And then we had a presidential 09. So four finds in that first roll. And if you look at these, I think we might be pretty coppery as well. These are nice looking pennies. So I'm pretty excited about rest of this hunt. I know that the rest of this roll is just going to be coppery. It's not going to have any more finds. So hopefully I'll see you in roll number two. Not really fine, but look at that wrapper. First Hawaiian bank. I'm going to have to save that. That's pretty cool. How many people have a penny roll from Hawaii? Well, the Hawaiian roll was lucky. This is roll three. It's not the prettiest, but we do have our second wheat. And you would never know by looking at it. It's a 1953 in horrible condition, but it's still a wheat. That's weedy number two, just three rolls in. Thank you, Hawaii. Next roll, roll four, was one of these Hawaii bank rolls, but it's even older. So far, I've pulled four coins out of here, all copper. Next coin was a 1948 S, in pretty nice shape. And when I pulled that one out, the next coin was weedier facing. A little toasty, but I did not see the date on this yet. And we have a ooh, 1926, 1920. Let's take a gander at the scope here. See if we can help ourselves out a little bit here. It's a 1920. Nice. 
gotta love that, man. All righty, let's get back in and hopefully there's some more in here. Same roll, just a little deeper. 1955D, Weedy 5, roll 4. I hope this box stays like this. This could be a lot of fun. Still, same roll. Oh, 1952D, Weedy 6. Oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't see that. Holy crap. <laughs> what? Uh, 1903 Indian Head <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh my gosh. This is only my second Indian Head out of a box. How crazy is that? Amazing. This is going to be crazy. Whew. Roll seven, or <laughs> weedy seven, roll four still. My gosh. 1951. I still can't believe that ain't had ridiculousness. Wow. Great box. Thank you, Rat Stacker. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. I had to burn through that roll. It was. We could have had this video be a million hours long at the rate I am currently going. These is weedy. 8, 9, and 10, all in that same roll. A 58D, a 55D, and a 53D. That whole roll ended up having eight wheats, an Indian hen penny, and was 100% copper. I have one more of those Hawaiian rolls and then we get back into a different variety. I hope it's packed like that again. Wow, what a roll. Roll five, the last of my Hawaiian rolls and when I dumped them out, doesn't look quite as coppery. You'll notice we have a newer looking one here, but the way that it's split out, split out right to a wheat. 1953 S. I always take an S minute of coin. I will keep you posted once we get back into this. What a crazy box. All right, after that start, I was scared, so I decided to go through the roll. That roll had the first wheat that we've already pulled out, and it had two more. It was not quite stacked full of copper like the other one, but three wheats in one roll. Are we going to complain, really? A 1958D, and then a horrible, horrible 53. And it's tore up on both sides. But three weeds in a row, I'm not going to complain. Hey, you see it? Yeah, I didn't think so. Most people wouldn't have caught this. That's why it ended up in this roll. We've got a dime. <laughs> that is the penniest looking dime I think I've ever seen. <laughs> we'll add it to the board. Roll seven. So this one's not so gorgeous, but it is a wheat. I did scope it just to double check. And it is a 55D. You can see a little better under the camera. It's an atrocious shape. I would guess this has probably been in the ground at some point, but it is weedy number 14. Wow, is there killing it already? So, we'll get back into these rolls and see if it keeps giving them up. Roll 15. So, we cooled down a little bit. But, hey, we've got 14 wheats. Oh, make that 15. <laughs> we got ourselves another one. It's been a couple, a couple rolls, but this one looks old. I haven't seen it yet. It is Weedier's facing. Come on, Oli. Oh. A 1930. I'll take a pre-40 wheat any day of the week. It's got some schmutz on the front. But overall, it's in pretty nice shape for a 30s. Wow. Weedy 15. Not even halfway through yet. Roll 21. And we've got ourselves another wheat. 
It's meteor facing, a little bit better shape than the other ones we've been getting. 1950D, so it's not very old, but still another wheat. Back into the rolls. Roll 24 will bring us our next wheat. It was date facing, so it jumped right out at me. It is a bit chewed up, but it's okay. It's just a 44, so it's not a critical date. I have a ton of 44s, but I'm happy to have them. That's wheat. 18. Wow. Roll 28. Well, this box has slowed down a bit. We still have 18 wheats. We have a ton of 09s. I found a total of three dimes so far, and you can see all the dimes look like pennies. But make that weedy 19. Here's date facing 54S. Again, we enjoy getting the S mints. I don't see them that often. This box is hunting like a Denver or a San Fran box. Um, I've been getting a lot more S's than I typically get. Um, and it has a lot of Denver coins, not a lot of Phillies. So it's definitely different for me. So let's see if we can get past 20. Roll 36. This box came out swinging and has slowed down a bit, but we do have weighty number 20. And this one's in pretty good shape. What kind of date are we going to get? Another 44. So we're finding tons of 09s, and actually a lot of them are in really nice shape, and a lot of them are in really nice shape for the presidentials, which is pretty strange. And I also did find a euro, which is not something I normally find in a penny box. This one is from Francais. So, very interesting box to say the least. And no faster they say that, same roll. Just a handful of coins later, 1957D. Not a super special wheat, but we need 21. Roll 38, and we have a doozy. Back to back wheats. These are both wheatier facing, so let's see if we get any good dates. Um, 1950D, pretty common. Come on, baby, here's an oldie. Uh, looks a little older. And just. 1940D. That's Wheaties 22 and 23. Tail end of that same roll, and we end up with our third wheat in that roll. 1956D. How amazing is that? Roll 40. We've got a doozy here. Whoa, we've got two of them there. I know, you probably can't see the day very well, but I did throw it under the scope. It's a 1958. Barely can you tell that it's a wheat, but it is. That is Wheaty 25 of the box. Roll 44 will bring Wheaty 26. Wow. This one was weird facing, so let's see what we got. A 1956. We did have a couple of goldies, but uh, we're stuck with the commons lately. Tail into the same roll, and we've got some more weed ears. Not in as nice a shape. 1940D, weedy 27. Next roll brings weedy 28. Can we get to 30? 1958. Still pretty common, but uh, still a wheat. Last roll of luck. This will give us Weedy 29. We're going to fall short of the 30, it looks like, unless there's something hidden in there that I don't see the edge of. 1952 from Denver. But what I did see, you might have seen it too. We got ourselves another dime. This one's actually a real looking dime compared to the crusty ones that we found earlier. I think that's our fourth or fifth dime. 
but we'll get to that in the wrap up. And just like that, we've got another box in the books. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Rat Stack. I greatly appreciate you sending me this box. It was amazing. Um, and to get a box from Hawaii is equally as amazing. So thank you again. Um, I will leave his link below. Make sure to swing by, check out his content. If you enjoy it, give him a subscription. I greatly appreciate you helping with this. So we'll jump into the wrap up because this box had a little bit of everything. Pretty amazing. We'll start off with the 81s. We ended up with 61 81s. Pretty heavy for my 81s. Normally I end up with just shy of a roll, ended up with a roll plus. We did get six foreigns. We had five Canadians and one Euro. And on Euros we don't normally get, which is a little bit different, which is pretty cool. Five dimes. Now this dime's a little weird because you think you would catch that, but these ones look like pennies, so I can understand how they mix these up. But five dimes, pretty cool. Hold penny. I don't normally get whole pennies. I get the holes for uh, half dollars and things of that nature. You don't see whole pennies, so I pulled it out. This guy here is a counter stamp. And if it'll focus for me, it's a Utah from Hawaii. <laughs> we ended up with 1,742 grams of copper. So heavier than normal, but not the heaviest. Um, I thought it would be going to be more copier than that, honestly, even though it was heavy. Um, didn't quite beat my best. Boatload. Boatload of 09s. 20 709s. We did get all four designs, and our biggest pile is the presidential, which tends to be the hardest to find. Look at all these wheats. Total of 29 wheats. These are all the 50s. We did get one of each date of the 50s, 50 through 59. The 40s were a little bit lighter. We ended up with just five in the 40s, or actually six in the 40s. A couple of 40s, a couple of 44s, a 45. We did get a 20 and a 30, but we have both of those already, believe it or not. So they weren't fillers, but they're still old wheats, which is awesome. We ended up with a, let's see what this is, a 73 upgrade, a 48S upgrade, and my eyes are failing me, a 53S upgrade. We ended up with an 87, I believe it's an RPM. Let me uh, grab my scope here for you so I can show you what I'm talking about. I did not find any example of this. But if you look at the top corner of the D, it definitely looks like there's another D there. But there's no example of that. So I'm not sure. Setting it aside. Tell me what you think. It's the top left corner of the D. Definitely looks like there might be another D punch there. But... We'll find out. We have an 83 with a die chip and the E on Liberty. And you can see it right there. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I set it aside. And our Indian head. What a shocker, man. This is, uh, I've only found two Indian heads hunting boxes. Both of them have come from state boxes. 1903. In pretty nice shape for coming from a box. So this box, I would have to say, has got to be the best box. It had some variety in it. it. Had 29 wheats. Had an Indian head. Had a boatload of 81s. Had different kind of stuff. Had a nice amount of copper. Thank you, kind sir. Greatly appreciated. So, if you enjoyed the hunt. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will throw my map up there again. I am running out of boxes. I actually have a box in route. Thank you that who's sending that to me, but I'll leave it anonymous for now. But after that box, I'm out again. I've been out. I've been begging, pleading. Please 
hook me up, contact me. I would love to get all 50 states. If it's white, I need it. If it's red, I've hunted it. So, thank you for swinging by today. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next box.